Hello everyone and welcome to another video in beautiful mid Wales. Uh, just come up here for a few days, um, staying over here we've got the van but as you can see we've got this amazing location. Absolutely gorgeous, woke up to it this morning, last night was a beautiful sunset over these hills, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we've got a couple of walks planned for the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to see if we can try and find the source of the River Wye today, which is actually a river that finishes down in uh, where I live. So uh, it's the fourth longest river in the UK, and it's only a mile or so from the source of the River Severn, which is the longest river in the UK. So um, yeah, we're going to be head up into the uh, the mountains, into the hills here in Mid Wales, but absolutely gorgeous. Um, the sun's about to come over the hills. So it was a bit chilly at the moment. It was a bit of a frost last night, but we were snug and warm. Um, yeah, what more could you want in life than to wake up somewhere like this? Uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to try and find um, some other places in the area as well. Devil's Bridge, um, go up some waterfalls, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, come along with us. And of course, don't forget your coffee, guys. Got to have your coffee, haven't you? Cheers. Well, slight change of plan as you can see here with this beautiful river behind this is actually the river seven um, so the road we traveled along a minute ago was just a little bit you couldn't park anywhere near it couldn't start the footpath where we wanted to start it so we've made a different plan we're coming across into Hafrin Forest and we're going to do the walk up to the top there but yeah I think as I said earlier the river seven which is the longest river in the UK um, and I'll put some video in of how big the River Severn is down in uh, at the mouth on the, the Bristol Channel. But yeah, this this is the source. This is the river. Well, it's not the source, but this is the River Severn now, as we see it. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get in the van, head up, uh, find a car park, and we'll see you in the forest. Well, we have arrived at the uh, Hafrin Forest car park, which is bringing back a lot of memories. Actually, there's a sign back there saying there's a forest rally here next weekend. So we've come on the right weekend, but uh, yeah, we used to do a lot of the Lombard REC, Rally GB, basically World Rally Championship used to come through these forests. We used to come down here when I was younger and have a lot of fun down here. But yeah, following the path now to um, essentially the start of the River Wye, but you could also follow this path to the start of the River Severn. Um, the River Severn, by the way, just down here. So you can see that little bit of river. That's the River Severn that we passed over a minute ago. Um, yeah, so if you're going to do the River Y walk, which is 139 miles, I think, if I'm correct, and I think it's about 210 miles for the River Seven uh, walk, and that takes you down to Bristol. So uh, you could start both of them here, park the car here, walk all the way down, use buses, whatever, bring two vehicles, however you want to do it. Um, this is a really good starting point. Um, yeah, so we're just going to enjoy the forest, enjoy our walk and see if we can uh, find the source of the Y, which is a bit ambiguous really because you know it's really all about the longest tributary falling into the river and I think in reality the geology of this area is that there's a probably a huge source of water underneath the mountain that is feeding both the Y and the Severn so um, the reality is it's probably the same water um, coming out at the same point into the sea as well so uh, yeah oh, it's amazing waterfalls down here as well so beautiful yeah, so if you wanted to come down here for other walks, there's plenty available. There's actually uh, a waterfall trail over there that I can see, which is about one and a half miles. Um, and then it looks like there's a few walks here. Um, basically, it's 3.9 kilometers. Uh, we've got eight miles. Can't be half a mile there. Three and a half miles. Yeah, so you've got lots of different um, walks you want to come up here. And they're all nicely accessible on this boardwalk.
looking so handsome Oh, you have your way And it's making me weaken You and your status Walking like that It's really getting too much But I can't pull back Though I try to resist I can't fight this And no one Makes me feel like you do So I guess this is where we leave the River Severn. Uh, we've just crossed over on that footbridge there and you can see it flowing alongside here, but we're gonna join another tributary to the Severn, which I think is the Afron Hoar. Um, much smaller, but then we're gonna cut across country and it's only about a mile across to the River Wye um, and up to the source of the Wye. Well, I found a nice little picnic table here to stop for a little um, caffeine break and uh, yeah, a little, little coffee, little break, probably about two and a bit miles into it, which is about four and a half kilometers, something like that. So we've got still a little bit of way to go, um, but gaining some altitude as well as you expect uh, when you're looking for the source of a river, still by the other stream, um, but I think in a minute further on up the track we're going to then cut across this river. Um, I can see a track across the other side here. I think we're going to join that track. Well, I think we finally made it out of the woods onto the top. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be more open hillside than mountains. Uh, where the uh, the trees are because obviously it's difficult to grow trees at the tops of uh, hills and mountains so um, but yeah still following what would have been the classic half and stage down into sweet lamb so uh, it's bring back a lot of memories for me <laughs> so having driven down here having walked down here yeah great fun but yeah we keep on going to see if we can head towards the source of the Y. so it looks like we've come to a little divide in the road because um, if we go off this direction up here of this little path that takes us to the source of the Y. If we turn around the path down here this takes us actually continuing down the uh, the river Y itself so um, come from this direction up here that's where the car park is up in the Hathrin Forest um, so yeah it's kind of a little uh, divide off and then once you've been up to the source of the river Y, you can head down that way towards uh, towards Bristol I guess. So here we go this is uh, Permissive path to the viewpoint of the source of the Y, one kilometers. So I think we've got up ahead, just up here, our viewpoint of the source of the River Y. And the River Y itself, there's a river that goes all the way up in the middle of this lot and goes all the way up to the top there so it's obviously not accessible easily and it's very boggy up here as well so um but we are nearing the source of the Y. so this is journey's end or journey's beginning whichever way you look at it Join us next time as we explore the nearby historic site of Devil's Bridge, with its many waterfalls and three bridges that span the steep gorge, along with the steep steps that we have to traverse. And after a long walk in so many beautiful waterfalls, it's mandatory to stop for a coffee and explore the nearby steam train station, before heading to Strata Florida Abbey, home of the monks who built the bridges. And then, of course, there's always more time for coffee. Join us then. Nine to five hours of dreaming on my energy How did I get here?